I'm here in Hope William, Washington. I've stopped by some good friends of mine, Ben and Mario Winkelmans. They're the owners and manufacturers of Grays Harbor Unders. It's base layer like you've never seen before. Come along, let's go meet Mario and learn more about Grays Harbor Unders. We've got a little bell. You rang? <laughs> Mario, good, good to, to see you, see man. Hey, yeah. I'm surprised visiting here. Yeah, I'm shocked. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pleased. Good, good, good. I don't ever want people to be confused with wicking fabrics because right. ours will keep you dry. See the water disappear? Mm -hmm. Goes through that air layer and that water is gone from the inside. If I soak this entirely wet, you'll be able to see, even though this is completely soaking wet, if you hold your hand out like this, you're gonna find out that the inside of our four-way stretch fabric is dry. Holy cow. Outside holds the water, the inside stays dry. And sure. you're not gonna get that out of wicking. Put your thumb on the outside, mm -hmm. you feel the difference. I do, yeah. Now, the big thing is, if you're gonna get out there and get wet, you're gonna get cold. If you feel this temperature of wearing something cold on your skin, right. that's because it's wet. Now, feel that. Well, I can kind of attest to this, because I've taken some dunks in the water a couple times. I heard a rumor about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, I stayed warm. I mean, uh, it's amazing. And it, what's the difference between wicking and what you've got going here? Wicking is a buzzword to sell you cheap fabric that doesn't keep your skin dry when it's wet. Your skin will always be wet until the fabric dries. And if that's sure. in an inner garment, sorry, you're going to be wet. Right. Paper towels, they're wicking. Regular towels, they're wicking. It just means spreading. It gotcha. means it's not a plastic bag. So, right. yay, let's cheer. Ours, on the other hand, the moisture is always going to go through to the outer layer. That will collect the water. The inside stays dry. Your skin will be dry sure. no matter what you do. If you poured water onto the inside of it, you'd still be fine. I wear this in the summer as well. Yes, because you can load the outside with water if you like. Right. And run air over it and you have evaporative cooling. And sure. your skin will still hold its normal moisture content. Right, I just dunk my arms in the water. Yes. You know, and it cools me down. Yeah. Wear them all the time. And so, do you think you got a minute to show us around? Yeah, I do. It's kind of rare to be able to walk through where my base layer, my undergarments are made. Yes. Well, this is the former Hoquiam Aquatic Center. For 50 years it was a swimming pool. Oh wow. And when we purchased the building we decided to keep the nostalgia because people who come in they like to see their own old swimming pool. Sure. So it still says pool on the walls and the locker room still says men and women. <laughs> the pool rules are still on here. You can see this is what used to be the swimming pool area. And if you look at the floor, it says no diving. <laughs> That's still a rule that we like to enforce because control now yeah. <laughs> the swimming pool has actually got a lid on it and it's got concrete on it. And the floor is heated with uh, the hot water, the boiler that used to heat the showers. Mm -hmm. It now heats the concrete and the floor. So in the winter time, it's very comfortable inside of here. So everything's made here. Everything is made here. This fabric is made in the United States. It is made for me to my specifications. You're not going to go and buy this off the shelf. Right. You're going to buy off the shelf. You're going to end up with a single layer polyester, polypropylene, capilene wicking garment. Gotcha. Sorry, you're going to be a slippery mess if you get hot. <laughs> anyway, this is our 50 foot long cutting table. And this is where we take the rolls of fabric that get shipped to us from the mill and they get put onto this fabric spread. And we'll have our patterns over the top of it. We take a tall razor blade knife and we cut all the pieces of the pattern out and bring them over to the sewing machines. And this is how we would move them over to our shelving and in feed to the sewing assembly line. We do have an inventory, okay. but when that inventory gets depleted, we don't have to go to another company 
that would agree to sew for us like in right. two or three weeks out of the year and then we have to have a year's worth of inventory gotcha. and stack inventory with a huge sewing bill and costs right. that we have to string out all the rest of the year. What if we sell out? Sorry, we can't make any till next year. Well, a lot of this is custom sewn to sizes. Yes. I know you've taken my measurements before and, and I've got a perfect fit. Yes, we, we have uh, our own patterns and I'm the model for the extra large. You and I are about the same because yeah. we're brothers. Yeah. You know, right? Yeah, that's right, my brother, that's right. <laughs> so, uh, but if somebody needs a different size or for different purposes, yes, we can make any size. There isn't a person, they can walk through the door. We can't make um, their base layer. Sure. And we have little tiny kids that, that uh, go and run around on the soccer fields and we outfit them and little kids go on fishing boats. Mm -hmm. They need to have gear that works for them just as well. You spend a lot on your boat and your gear and your lines and then you go out there and get cold. And then you're and off then, the water, yeah. Yeah, and then you put your kids out there too. <laughs> yeah. It's like, be nice to them. <laughs> Buy them something good. And all, our garments also last for a very long time. As you know, years you can get out of them. They're not gonna wear out. Right. Well, once they come through the uh, assembly here, we have a flat lock stitcher here. It has four needles in this machine. And you can see that this is the kind of stitch that it has. This stitch also will stretch with the garment so you don't have any binding from the seams as well where you can take two flat pieces, hook them together. That's not going to come apart. After they get assembled here, they can go to the serger. And this is a slowed down just a little bit serger for some fine work. And then we have another serger over here where the waistbands are getting put on. On our garments, the dry side is folded to the outside and the stitching is on the outside. So at the end of the day, you don't dig around and say, man, that's been irritating me for a two hours because sure. it's a perfectly smooth on the inside. Not only is it dry, but you're not gonna do the stitching. The stitching goes on the outside. Wow. Also, here is uh, all of our garments get bar tacked at the end to make sure that all the seams don't come apart. Gotcha. This is all for the durability of the product, and this is how this machine works. It's a kind of an expensive machine, but you find your place, set it down, threads are cut for you, but now that seam will never come apart. This is a bar tack machine. They're a uh, 10 year, 15 year. Base layer? Oh, I still have some that are I've had for, from 2001. We have riders that come in here that wear ours for motorcycle riding and say, I've got 300,000 miles <laughs> on my bike and my underwear still works right. as good as day one. Right. So we have very few that, that actually get worn out. You do you, the base layer, you mentioned shorts. There's some other stuff you guys We do. have shorts and we have the full length tights. We have short sleeve shirts. This is uh, an everyday wear for me because I don't like to wear cotton anymore. I've become so used to staying dry. If I wear cotton and then it gets wet, I'm uncomfortable and so is my skin. So I always wear this. We made these for everyday wear, but we sure. certainly have the long sleeve and we have mock ones to cover your neck. We actually have hoodies too, so you can have a hoodie in your base layer. Very popular for fishing. Yeah. I think you've seen that. Yeah, well, I've seen it. Well, I like them. And then we, of course, we brand our products um, with a heat press and we put those on here. And if it doesn't say GH Unders, Grace Harbor Unders, then it's not a Grace Harbor Unders. You may have a look-alike that is a moisture wicking fabric. Sorry. <laughs> Mario, this is great. Thanks so much for your time. Appreciate I had the a good tour. Time. I want you to come back as often as you like. Whenever we're in the area, we'll try to stop in. There's some good fishing around here, you know. Yes, I do. You're right on the travel lanes, too. I caught my very first fish on the Hump Tulips River. Man, that was exciting. I'm still, I still remember it. Yeah. I did like you, and I got excited, and I jumped off <laughs> the lock into the water and went to the other side on the gravel bar so I could land it. Right. And my partner thought I was crazy. Looking at me like, why would you do that? I said, I did not want to lose that fish. I didn't know how to land a fish. Sure. Don't let it get away. Don't yeah. let it get away. That's the main <laughs> thing. So into the water I went. I wish I'd had Grace Harbor Unders then. Yeah.
You can see we have the American flag so that you know all of this is made right here in America in Grace Harbor. Well, thanks so, for everything you're doing and the great product. Thanks, Rob. I appreciate you being here. Yeah, I'm fishing once in a while with us. I like it when you fish. <laughs> I'm going to go fishing with you again, too. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, everybody, thanks a lot. I'm Rob with Northwest Fishing Reports. We'll see you online and on the water.